There has been a confusion in the world about the dead and, and, and what happens when, when a person dies. Let us find out in the scriptures in the book of Psalms chapter 104 verse, 20, verse 29. The Bible says, thou takest away their breath. So this is what happens. When you die, the Bible says God takes away his life-giving uh, breath. And then after taking the life-giving breath, you, re you then return to the ground. That is why we bury people. For you to know what, what happens to man when he dies, you need to go back to the person who created a human being. And we need to find out what happened in the Garden of Eden when God created a human being. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul but the bible says when these two elements mixed together man became a living soul but man dies and wastes away and where is he Job is asking a question here. Job is telling us a statement of saying a man dies. But after he dies, Job has a question. What happens to him after he's dead? John chapter 5 verse 28 and 29. The hour is coming in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth. They that have done good to the resurrection of life and they that have done evil to the resurrection of life of damnation to those who die in Jesus those who die having this hope are not like the ones who die without hope if you trust in Jesus if you believe in Jesus the Bible says that the dead shall rise and they shall have eternal life we have this hope in us, my dear friends, that we shall rise again from the dead because our Savior, Jesus Christ, he tasted death for us. Hence, death because of the power of Jesus is no longer a permanent thing. Death is no longer a confusion. Death is no longer a separating factor forever. But death, my dear friends, the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 26, the last enemy enemy to be defeated is death. There is nothing that we can fear. There is no one that we can fear. There is, there, is, there is no angel or supernatural power that we can fear because Jesus has conquered everything and Jesus has conquered death itself.